Awesome. Hi. Hey. Hi, I'm Trevor. Uh, you're watching Reader Beware. We're at a convention, the same one from last week, because it's actually the same day. That's how time works. I'm going to review this, uh, this book. This book here. It's called You Can't Scare Me. And I did not know books could predict how they would make me feel until this exact moment. Because no. No, you can't book. You can't fucking scare me. The tagline is, they're coming for you. And we got monsters on the front that look like they're coming out of a swamp, and that is awesome, and that happens on the second to the last page. I don't even remember the characters' names. So there's this chick. Oh, wait. No, it's a chick. There's this chick named Courtney, and nothing can scare Courtney because she's a stone-cold killer who's age 11. There's these four other kids. Um, like Eddie, Hat... One of them's name is Hat, because he always wears a hat, and no one's ever seen his real hair, which I think should be the real mystery of this fucking book, because what the hell is under that hat? And two girls that look exactly the same, named, like, Molly and Stupid Bitch, and they're the Wonder Twins of Inadequacy. These four kids want to scare this Courtney bitch so bad, because she's so perfect and she never gets scared of anything. Oh, there's a spider, she's gonna pick it up and talk to it. Oh, there's a snake, she's gonna pick it up and talk to it. Like, on some field trip in the woods. There was a, a snake, and it scared the main kid. And he was like, oh god, a snake! Because that's the reaction a normal human would have at age 11. You fall down on the ground, and a snake crawls on you. She comes by, picks it up, and it's just like, ah, yes, ah, yes. And the snake is like talking to her back, um, because she's <laughs> clearly a partial tongue. Uh, yeah, everybody thinks she's so cool for this snake, right? And then there's a bee, and everybody thinks she's so cool for not being afraid of the bee. That one I can get. So the whole book, the whole book, is about these four kids trying to find a way to scare this girl named Courtney. That's the whole book, and it's all about their failed attempts at this, and none of them are good. One of them is like, hey, let's, uh, let's steal a tarantula from the high school, high school, they're in middle school, no, they're in element, they're in school, from the school science lab, let's steal this tarantula, and in the process, get locked in a filing cabinet. And then they're like, oh wait, we'll get out of this filing cabinet, and we're going to steal the tarantula, and we're going to drop it on one of their heads. But guess whose head they drop it on? Their fucking friend, Inadequacy Twin Number 1. Uh, something about a rubber snake that looked real, and uh, it belonged to one of the stupid girl's brothers, and then she, they, they put it in her lunch bag, but she's this Kurt Courtney girl so perfect, she always brings extra lunch, and the teacher didn't have lunch that day, so the teacher gets the bag, and he opens it up and freaks out, and she stomps on the fucking snake until its head comes off. And everybody's like, oh, she's a hero. And, uh, so that fails. And then the main kid's brother is a dick, and I love him. He's the only character worth a damn other than the dog. We'll get to him. Um, he's making a, a horror movie, this brother, right? Because in the town they live in, halfway through the book, you get this, this story now. There's a belief that there are these mud monsters that come out of Mud Creek. And they're villagers that died in a mud flood. Because... It's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> um, because it was a shanty town. I don't know. The explanation is stupid. It's like 20 years ago, when the creek was 14 feet deeper. That's not how water works, but we'll go with it. Yeah, on the full moon, once a year, these mud monsters come out, right? So his brother's making this movie about these fuck-all mud monsters with his friends, and they're dressing up in uh, these costumes, and they look like mud monsters, and there's like page upon page about how this kid is dripping his costume in his little brother's floor. And I'm like, how in the hell did some stupid-ass high school kid in the Goosebumps book get like Tom Savini-level knowledge for makeup? I don't know. He's a genius, apparently, and he's got a new career for him after this is all said and done, assuming he lives, which he does. Um, spoiler. So he's like, hey, will you scare these girls for me? And he's like, what's in it for me? And the kid's like, I'll be your slave for a month. And he's like, well, that escalated fast, but okay. But they, uh, they're gonna scare these girls, and the girls have a tree fort in the fucking woods near the Mud Creek or whatever. Um, but before they get to that point, rewind a little bit, because one of the stupid twins has a dog, and its name is Buttercup, and it's a St. Bernard, and they keep talking about how St. Bernards aren't scary, and I'm like, Cujo, and they're like, what? Um, we're book characters, we can't understand you when you yell at the pages. The, the St. Bernard is the nicest dog ever, except when the girl whistles. And it pisses the dog off so much, he spazzes out and starts howling and growling. And they're like, yeah, that's a great idea. We're gonna scare Courtney by torturing a dog. Which doesn't work either, because Courtney is like, oh, good doggy, and then the dog's her best damn friend. Buttercup is a great character, don't ever talk shit about Buttercup. Flash forward, girls are at their little tree fort in the woods, the brother's gonna come scare them, Fucking four idiot friends, Hat and Eddie and Girl 1 and Girl 2, they they go to watch and they're hiding and they're like, yeah, this is gonna be so good, oh my god, they're gonna be so scared. And this Courtney girl is in the treehouse with a friend of hers that's unimportant, so I'm gonna call them unimportant friend, and uh, and the mud monsters come out. 
And the girls are like, they're like, there's three of them, right? Oh, just like his three friends. Good job, Kevin. Kevin's the brother's name. Good job, Kevin. You're scaring him. Yay, go get him, Kevin. The girls start screaming. Oh my God! Ah, right. And then Kevin comes up behind the other four kids, and he's like, Hey, sorry, we're late. We had a flat tire. And then the kids are like, Oh shit! The mud monsters are real. And then the book ends one page later with the kid going, We're so scared now. We can't scare Courtney anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this with somebody else's dick. Like, it, it really was one of the worst books I've ever read. Like, some of the Goosebumps books I've read have been bad, but they're at least fun to talk about, and they're kind of fun to read, and you're like, oh, no, this one just pissed me off. And every single chapter ends and starts with a cliffhanger, but they're all shitty cliffhangers. Let's give you an example. I'm gonna find a fucking, yeah, I don't give a shit that there's a 30 second fucking Hat, the tarantula, I managed to croak. It, it's crawling up my leg. End of chapter. Beginning of next chapter. The tarantula was there. Like, every single chapter's like that. Like, it ends on a cliffhanger and then resolves itself immediately on the next page in the first sentence. Like, it's ridiculous, and the writing is terrible, and... and, and I just... And, it's and anger and fl flames on the side of my face, the, he, the hot, the he, heaving breaths. Um, fuck this. Tune in next week for more misery and pain. <laughs>